two homers. That's good news for Arise, who has 24 career homers. And the first pitch gets a piece of the corner. He's throwing to much better today, which is good news. Most experience in the Sammy Marlins. This got worse. A rib injury. At a 2 2, 3 and 58 OPS, and 30% higher than the average when it comes to OPS plus. Night with a rise up in the Padres to get to that number. It's the rest of the team as well. Jurek's in Profar. He looks at the first one that is outside. Get to be the number one prospect in the entire game without having some skills. All go for Jerson Profar. Stat cast by Google Cloud showed it. He said he unlocked the baseball side of me. He got into Profar as he draws the walk. This, the lefty is Cronenworth. He's the first baseman, and that sails high from one ball, two strikes as the left-hander got to Elder. And 2-2 two -two to Manny. He's hit a lot of balls on the ground this year, uncharacteristic of him. Ninth. And he's given up a two-run homer. Here's Bogarts. Misses again up with his fastball. Just shy of 300. He's been outstanding in center field since opening day. Batting average. He's over 400. All right, and had a couple of hits. Third time, multi-hit effort. That's too far inside. The eighth hitter. He's the catcher. And what a start for the Padres. Speed pitch previous to that fastball inside. And... Just stays a action in that brave bullpen. His first pitch strike rate up to 67% this year. And Darvish is ready. That first. Hey. Spins that in his fastball that night. Hey. That one, that's a uh, knee buckler there. Now as they shift a little bit against Albies. And Darvish crushes him back. Hashtag ask SNB paints the corner. Boy, that's a pitch that's been effective already tonight. It doesn't look like the Bradley, but Ozuna's been pretty good. And Elder got the first two in the top of the first, and then it all went sideways at over 400. Here's Olsen. And Darvish goes with that. Slider to get ahead 0 100 straight games. Back to May 2nd of 2020. See those? As Elder gets set to start inning number two, Hassan Kim, the number nine hitter. And that one is not called that. That appeared to get us. The ability to get down and see how Xander Bogarts, the DH, prepares for his at bat. They're able. Oof, close pitch there. Call ball four. Back to the top of the order. The lefty, Luis Arise. He flew out to center his first time up, and he looks at strike one. See Bryce Elder, too, throwing the changeup and the movement profile on that pitch. Big swing there from Profar. Let's have it get away from Elder here in the second. One down, infield in. Profar sends it out. Kim at short, Machado at third. Oh, strike three called. Good pitch. And Elder needed that. Already has a homer in the first, a two run shot. 80 against righty on deck. First base is open. It's two balls, no strikes. He went with the changeup. Top of the zone, that's a strike. You know, it looked pretty, but it'll give you those innings. Doesn't get the call now. Machado on deck. Big pitch early, and he fouls us. That was designed with Freed on the mound. Cronenworth stays in this position. Did he check his swing? And Elder misses badly. Ball one with a slider. One and two thirds. That one bends in there for a strike. Elder. You know, do you you said it correctly. We'll we'll see how this game plays out. But that was a huge moment for the, the Braves and Elder.
Interesting. Here's Michael Harris. And he squared the I punt. Is that shortstop during their careers? A lot of play, even keeled approach. One, two, stays alive. Thing to learn. No. You've mastered it. Yes. No. <laughs> Tony shortstops. Yep. It's a great point. Here's Zach Short. He's the third baseman. Hey. Connecticut native went to Sacred Heart there. Athletic director there at Sacred Heart. And he would, you know, he'd show up late to a class every now because Riley's out. And he's done very well. Easy on you. His first game with them was in City Field against the Mets last weekend. Two balls, two strikes. 